Hello everyone. Today I will introduce a new product to you. HT8 a remote control. Compared to the previous HT8 a remote control, it has an LCD screen. This humanized design not only increases the functionality of the product, it also provides a better user experience. This product is suitable for various scenarios, fixed wing aircraft, delta wing aircraft, and on products such as drones. It can also be used in DIY modified cars, on products such as robots and remote load mowers. The spread spectrum method of the remote control is FHSS. The frequency range is 2.4G. The response speed is PWM less than or equal to 20 milliseconds. Remote control ground distance of 400 meters. The aerial distance is 600-800 meters. The voltage of the transmitter and receiver is 4 to 9 volt. There are two antennas on the remote control. Below the antenna, here is the gear shift switch. They are channels 5, 6, 7, and 8 respectively. Next, these two are rockers. This is the power switch of the remote control. We press once to turn it on. And press again to turn it off. When the remote control emits an DD alarm sound indicates that the battery level is too low, we can replace the battery and continue using it. Looking down, there is a hanging hole here. Let's take a closer look. There are four fine tuning buttons here. This is the hybrid control button. Here are the forward and backward channel buttons. Here are the buttons for the size of the rudder. This is a lock function button. And here's a small screen. This displays the remote control battery level. This is a sign of the size of the rudder quantity. T represents the signal of the receiver. This is the voltage of the power battery. This is the lock icon. This is the hybrid control icon. This is a simulator below the simulation hole. Here is the battery compartment. Can directly use for no 5 batteries. It can also be directly inserted into a 7.4 volt lithium battery. This product has 7 main functions. Hybrid control function. Adjustment function of large and small rudder quantities. Positive and negative channel functions. Locking function. Loss of control protection function. Return function. Automatic shutdown function. Thank you for watching this episode of video. See you next time.